Welcome back, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you about a new custom node, which I've put into the DJZ nodes pack. So all you got to do is update the nodes and you'll get them. Before I forget, hit that bell. And where were we? So let's take a quick look. So we've got, we're going to be taking a look at the project file path node, which is going to be in a lot of my workflows moving forward because it saves a lot of the junk, which we had to do to make a custom project structure that will organize our images into various different folders, depending on what we're doing. So I made a little custom node called project file path generator. You can just type file and it should show up once you have it installed in the search. So if I just type file or project, it'll come up there. I think if I type project, yeah, I think I've, yeah, obviously you might have other nodes installed, so you never know what you'll see, but yeah. Um, in uh, a lot of my workflows, what I used to do was I would put up the top here, a project name, which was hooked up to a concatenate, which had the folder root dot slash folder slash, and it would put your project name test, and then it would combine that with various other endings. This one is slash Laura slash flux, another concatenate. And then that would go into the file name prefix. And then what you would end up with is you would end up with your files being organized by the model base, because this is a photo workflow and your project name. So you'd have them all there and then you could go in and you could see all the different stages, the upscale, color correction, all the different stuff could all be in there if that's what you wanted. But I don't like this. It's kind of like a big waste of time. There's like so much going on and it's just a bit messy. So I thought, well, we could clean this one up. And so that's what I've done. Uh, quite simply, it has a root. It has a project name. It has a subfolder and it has a file name. The separator is auto, but that's because if you're on Windows or Linux, it might be the other way around. It should default. To, well, it should automatically detect the system you're on and then use the correct forward or backslash. But I just leave mine on auto. Um, I believe it's forward slash for Windows and backslash for Linux. But hey. I haven't got a Linux machine to test it on. So I put the option there. Uh, let me know. Okay. So with these settings, this is what you will get. Comfy UI output loader, save node, custom path, image, underscore, and then the number and the dot ping that's added by Comfy. So um, I've obviously set up a very simple demo here, which is loading an image straight into a. Uh, save node and then if i take a look at the path you can see it's output loader save node custom path and this was a bug if you already updated uh make sure you update again because i fixed the bug there was a little bug here which said dot ping and then the numbers dot ping and that was because i was adding the file name in my code when i didn't need to and that's now been fixed so as you can see there that's what you should be seeing right this is the normal behavior Right, so how do we actually use this? Well, luckily I have this mess here. Now I've already uh, hooked up the custom node to mimic this. So that would be Foda, test for the project name, Laura, and then Flux, as we can see, slash Laura, slash Flux. Because it's doing all the slashes and the dots and everything for you, so you don't have to mess around and you can easily just change it and it's just one node, right? So obviously if I have my node like this, okay, I can now get rid of that, 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 and that. And then I can just attach the string to the file name prefix. Now, obviously, if you don't see that on your save node, here's a save image grid node. So if I right click widget to input file name prefix, just like that, and then I drag it in, I've changed Laura to compare because this is a compare node. All right. And so now when I run this, it's going to put the images into the correct folders for me. So this is all about automatic organization. I always use the root to signify the type of model that I'm working with. And then I'll put my project name in. And then obviously you've got a subfolder, which is like, you know, is this control net? Is this a Laura loader? Is this the second pass? Is it the third pass? Is this an upscale? And then finally, of course, the file name. I tend to just leave that on whatever the model is, but you can obviously use image, output, demo, whatever it is you want to use. It doesn't really matter, but you can put it, that in as well. And that 
is pretty much the entire feature. I mean, I just want to show you one more time on a different workflow. So here we have a workflow we're going to be taking a look at soon. And as you can see, I've done the exact same thing. We've got folder, oil painting, image to image flux. Now I have made it so that if you put a space, it will convert the space to an underscore. So it should be safe to use casually. You don't have to worry too much about that kind of thing. I would say though, for compatibility with Windows and Linux, just stick with lowercase because uh, you might not know that, but Linux sees upper and lowercase as different letters whereas Windows does not. So that's a little thing you probably knew. Some of you may not have. So there it is. So that would be the project file path generator. I'll be using this to organize all my future workflows because like I said, ah, the only reason it's not in one of my workflows, the previous way of doing things, um, was because it was kind of annoying to set up. And so this solves that. So I hope everyone else finds it useful. And uh, as I say, you'll be seeing more of it. So that's everything I got for you on this one. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.